The first hurdle in your IBESS internal assessment is choosing the topic. It's really important that you get this right quite early on in the process. Some people find it really difficult even to come up with a single idea. But what I hope to do here is give you a tip on how you can come up with a whole list of ideas and then all you have to do is choose your favorite. One thing to note is that in this video, all I'm covering is how to choose your topic. I'm not gonna go into the details of how to write a research question. That's something we'll deal with in another video. First off, take a look at the list of topics on the course. There are 32 of them. Notice I'm looking at each subsection, which includes topics 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, rather than the broader chapters 1, 2, 3, etc. For each subsection, you need to choose an environmental issue that links with it. For example, here for 5.3, soil degradation and conservation, an environmental issue could be a change from small scale farming to industrial scale farming in an area tends to reduce soil fertility. Don't feel like you can't think of an environmental issue for a topic just because you haven't studied the topic yet. A quick flick through the course guide and textbook will give you plenty of ideas. For example, if we look at the objectives for chapter 5.3, we can see here, commercial industrialized food production systems generally tend to reduce soil fertility more than small scale subsistence farming methods. That's where I got the idea for the environmental issue I mentioned about farming. Once you've got ideas for each subchapter, come up with a local or global example for as many of them as possible. Maybe there's been a change from subsistence farming to commercial farming in the area around your home city. That would be a good place to collect some data. Which leads us to the third step. Outline the data you would collect. For this example, you could collect soil samples from commercial farmland and nearby subsistence farmland, and compare the mineral content of each. Try not to overthink these ideas. This is just brainstorming, and it shouldn't take you too long to come up with an idea for every subchapter. When considering your local or global examples, try to name a location and or species. This will help you get more clarity in your ideas. As for the data you suggest collecting, remember to keep it realistic. Find out what equipment and information you have access to and work with that, but be open-minded. You might think you don't have access to equipment that can directly measure air pollutants, but with a bit of research you'll find you can measure the air pollution with some white card and some petroleum jelly like Vaseline. I'll leave that for you to look into. After you've got all of your ideas together, all you have to do is choose your favourite one. Once you've done that, you need to translate your idea into a research question. And that's for the next video.